Hundreds of indigenous leaders, residents and other stakeholders on April 14 made their voices heard after the parliamentary opposition's cut to the Ministry of Armenian Affairs budgetary allocation. The $1.1 billion cut is almost the total capital budget for the ministry, resulting in serious setbacks to the developmental plans for hinterland communities across Guyana. The money comprised the bulk of the Amerindian Development Fund, which is access to pay for community development projects such as ecotourism initiatives in some 10 villages, including $200 million to be used to undertake community-driven projects such as youth training. Several of the indigenous leaders voiced their concerns to Gina about the opposition's parliamentary actions. allocated for Amerindian development, $796 million is earmarked to provide training and stipend for the engagement of the young CSOs who are placed in various sectors in their villages. They serve as teacher aid, they serve in the health sector, they serve um, assisting in repair and maintenance the infrastructure and equipment. They serve as support for the village council, providing, um, providing opportunities for them to contribute to their community, to participate in community events, um, activities, and also at the leadership level. Um, denying Amerindian youths a chance to an opportunity within their own community has severe impacts for them. Many Amerindians would wish to remain in their village, to be engaged, to contribute to village development. And here is a chance, a program geared to assist and provide that opportunity. Here the opposition, the combined opposition, APNU and AFC, have decided that they will deny the Amerindian youths this opportunity. And I believe the anger you see here, the expression of, of protests, has to do with just that. Um, it's not only cutting the youth opportunity for youths, but the entire village because opportunities for presidential grants which fund um, village projects, economic and village um, productive projects are out the window. More than 187 villages will be denied project this year under the 2014 budget. And that means that all the plans, the meetings they have held to prioritize what project they will need development funds for this year is no more. And therefore, I believe the young people has decided that they want to come to show their anger and to protest at this callous um, cuts in the budget, the responsibleness of the opposition. We are angry. We are desperate. We are disappointed because of the brutal action of our budget that was allocated to us. Now the opposition have denied us of our future. There's a lot of young people who are denied employment. Our communities need government subvention. And this year's budget, we see there of the unjustified action from the combined opposition. And we are totally against it. We are out here to make our voices be heard. They, we need and we demand respect. As a Guyanese, we have to be treated as Guyanese. We are the first people of this land. And I'm totally against and I'm totally disappointed with what they have done to us. We, 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 got, a lot, we, we got a lot of programs that we have already set. We have been working on some programs that we have already achieved through this present government with the help of this government. But <clears throat> now that this budget has been cut in this direction, all of our plans that we had and we haven't, it, it, we will just have, it has been ruined, right? Like we don't, like we don't have, we don't have proper, we, we, we don't have proper water in our communities and this thing. And we, we need these things, these are things that we need. And the message that I want to send to the, to the, to the, um, the, the opposition, the opposition, the opposition leader, right? The message I want to send to the opposition leader is that I think that he is doing us an injustice, right? This is injustice. And when he stated that, that, that the CSOs are collecting money and that they're being waste towards giving them, I think he should look at it in very soon and another angle because these people are working. Because my people in my community especially, and I can almost say for the other communities that these people are working for this money, right? 
because we have been, we, we have been working in all different angles in our community, just having the CSOs working. And if they don't work, I wouldn't sign the paper when they, they work. They, 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 they work paper. They have to they have to write in every morning, and when they come to work, they have to come and write in that they come to work. And when the month is finished, I have to sign the work paper so that they will get paid. And if I don't sign it, if they don't work, I won't sign it. So he's having this whole thing upside down, and it's a big lie that the people's not working towards having their money. As long as the budget cut is like the country is at standstill, because if the money doesn't, the money isn't there, then you can't get on development. And if the if the opposition is going to fight and keep the budget, at, they cut the budget, then no development will take place. Armenia will suffer, and even Guyana as a whole will suffer on this. So. The opposition needs to take serious, think serious about this and do something to um, benefit the, the country as a whole. We had our community development plan and you know, we had our plans which could have benefit the community. But then seeing that it is caught, then as I could see then we have, like our vision has been gone. You know, our plans just come to, to zero. What's the message you want to send to the opposition? Well, the message that I want to send to the opposition is that they um, must have love for human beings and not love for power. They must have the power of love. And as opposition leader, I want to urge them to make more mature decisions in life when it comes to people's life, livelihood. Because on behalf of a village manuan, I felt that my life and my people that I look after, a, 50, a population of 1,500 people, lives are being threatened. And from a village like Manawarin, as is named Manawarin, it's a village that is a very warlike village when it comes to things when they're being threatened. I am really depressed and so angry about what happened to us. You know, they, they clearly show us that we are nobody, you know, that we are low and that they are not interested in our development. And I am very annoyed about those two persons who sat there and other Amerindians, Palterians who sat there and said no to our development. I want to know if those persons should think where they come from and who are their family, you know, and who put them there. Because I know some of them very known them clearly that they are Amerindians. Their brother, their sister, their mother, their children, their husband. And they can say no to our development. I am so ashamed for them. They are not humans. I am saying it today. They are not humans. They are animals. And I don't want to see their face. But I am not threatening them. But I am saying I don't want to see them in our community. And to the opposition party that you are not welcome in any Amerindian community. I am saying it today. I am a CSO for Carberry and any opposition and anybody who is against my people, the indigenous people, I am telling you today, you are not welcome in our community. And we will see clearly that you would not put your foot there. We need these monies for the development of our community and our people. And we have been using this these monies when it has been given by the ministry to our communities for the enhancement of the lives of our people. We do not go and waste it. We ensure that we get proper water supply, proper health facilities, we get sports, upgrading of sports ground, and to improve our community. And I want to send a message also to the country as a whole, that prior to 1992, when we were govern under those who are calling themselves APNO today. We have been deprived of these opportunities and now we have been, um, we have been getting it from the PPP civic government and definitely our community has been transformed into a better community and now we are very disappointed about the cutting of the budget because definitely it will affect, it will stagnate the development of our community, not only in Region 6, oh, I am the Tushau, but in the whole country, all the Amerindian villages, including every Guyanese of this country. We need development! We need development!